Have you ever stopped to think about where your energy really comes from? Not the coffee, not the energy drink, but the fundamental biological spark of life itself. That spark is generated deep within your cells by microscopic engines called mitochondria. And when that power grid starts to fail, that's when things start to go very, very wrong. Today we're going deep inside that engine to a five-stage assembly line called the electron transport chain, or ETC. Its job is to take high energy electrons and pass them down this line like a hot potato. Each handoff builds up immense pressure, like water behind a dam. The final step unleashes that pressure through a magnificent molecular water wheel called ATP synthase, which spins and cranks out ATP, the universal energy currency that powers every single thing you do. The crew on this assembly line includes four main complexes. Complex one is the main entry point. Complex two is the alternate entry. And coenzyme Q10 acts as a microscopic shuttle bus, ferrying electrons between them. But here's the cool part. These complexes don't just sit there. They organize themselves into elegant mega structures called super complexes. This arrangement creates a direct channel, dramatically speeding up energy production. More importantly, it prevents electron leakage. Leaked electrons create reactive oxygen species, or ROS, which is like cellular rust. Super complexes keep the machine running clean and prevent this damage. When this engine fails, the consequences are severe. Your brain is an energy hog, so it's incredibly sensitive to power failure. Impaired complex. One activity is directly linked to Parkinson's disease. While complex four failure is a hallmark of Alzheimer's. The good news, we can fight back. The most powerful signal you can send to your mitochondria is intense exercise. High intensity exercise, in particular, activates a master regulator called PGC1 alpha, which is the foreman that shouts the order to build more mitochondria. Next, we can provide the raw materials. Coenzyme Q10 is the literal electron shuttle bus. PQQ works with it to stimulate the creation of new mitochondria. And NAD plus precursors like NMN are essential for fueling the entire process. The tragic reality is that our cellular levels of NAD plus, the primary electron delivery truck, can decline by as much as 50% as we age. Refilling this tank is a critical strategy for maintaining the ETC's input. The future is even more precise. Cutting edge peptides like SS31 don't just add fuel. They repair the engine. It travels directly to the mitochondrial membrane and helps rebuild the super complexes, plugging the leaks at their source. So how do we put this into practice? We start with advanced functional testing. A urine organic acids test is like looking at the exhaust fumes from your cellular engines, showing us exactly where the bottlenecks are. Mastering this domain is essential for longevity. If you found this valuable, hit that like button and subscribe for more deep dives into your biology. And for more in-depth protocols, sign up for the newsletter in the description below. Thanks for watching and stay curious.